Hey everyone and welcome to my studio. This is a continuation of the video from last week on the 18th century dress that I was working on. And today I will be focusing on the trim sleeves and petticoat. So here's some ideas with stomachers. I really like the buttons down the center. I think I might try and do something like that, but I do want more trim. So actually, ooh, this is a perfect example. If you look closely, there's buttons in the center, but then there's trim. I won't go into too much detail of how I do this trim because I've already done a video on it. I'll put a link in the description below. Ready to be gathered and then ready to go on the bodice and be stitched down. Because this material and how it's gathered, it's a little bit lumpy and not a very refined gather. I want to press these down with the iron. Right now it has kind of a tacky look to it. There we go. And that looks more historical to me. If you can see the difference between the two sides, I definitely prefer this side. The thicker trim will go around this part here, going down and around. And the smaller trim I'm thinking will be in here. And I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that there's enough trim to go all the way around because I don't want to go back and make more. So I just realized as I got to the back of the bodice, I only have this much left killing me, but at least I don't have to make a ton more. So, but before I do that, I think I might do the stomacher, put some trim on the stomacher first so that um, if I need to make more, I can do it all at one time rather than have to stop and redo it. So I did run out of some trim here, which is killing me because I only have a couple inches here. So I just made, I made a little bit more here. Now it's ready to be stitched down because this is the official design that I think I'm gonna go with. Working on stitching the trim down. The trim is all stitched on. However, I will say it's not showing up as much because it's very busy fabric, but I do like how it does have some texture. It's not just flat. I'm thinking the next step will be to work on the sleeves. I want to put some ruffles around there. I went ahead and created my own petticoat without going through major detail because I have another video on how I make my petticoats and I will include the link in the description below so you can watch that video as well. So the next step is to work on the sleeves. I want to add four layers total. I want to have this layer, which is the actual fabric of the bodice, and then three of these coming out underneath. However, I am using a lighter weight cotton, a white cotton, not just your basic cotton, because when you start using heavier weight on something like this, that's when it starts looking tacky, and that's when it looks homemade. That is one of the problems I see in a lot of sewing projects today, is people are using the wrong weight fabric for the wrong things. Around the sleeves, when you're doing the ruffles, this needs to be more delicate and light. I put all the layers together and I was about to gather them all together. I don't like how all of them looked with them gathered together. It looked way too uniform. So I think I need to take all the layers apart and gather them separately and then put them on the sleeve so it has more of a roughly look. You know, I did that too and I really don't like how this is looking. So I think I actually need to make the the sleeves a little bit wider and I don't have a ton of fabric left so I may just have to do with one or two layers instead of four. So I created some sleeve ruffles that are a little bit more gathered and I do like that a little bit better. I am gonna put a second layer on top so it's not just this layer, but I think I am pleased with it. I think I'm pleased with this. I don't know, we'll have to see. I have to put it on the mannequin to see how I feel about it. I think I can envision this and I do like it, so I'm gonna keep it. I'm going to stitch it on. Oh, I have this leftover from the stomacher, so I decided to use that on the sleeve as well. All finished and the sleeves are done. The skirt is there. I will say this is pretty crazy. I'm sure I could have done a little bit better on color, 
but I am overall pleased and I do like bright punchy colors so I think this is making me happy. So I am done getting dressed and I will say my arms are extremely sore because getting dressed in a corset and not being able to bend over as well as I normally do and pinning in the front is a bit exhausting. So this is what it looks like and I'm going to photograph it and uh, yeah, you can do this. I do photograph my own dresses using this super handy remote control from Nikon that is extremely amazing. Thank you for watching this video. This time around I did not have time to make a new bum roll, so next time I will be talking about how I'm going to reshape my bum roll. So please subscribe and like this video because I have a lot more creative content coming out in the future.